In this video, we will discuss the different metric types that Big Eye can monitor. Metrics are persistent calculations of some statistic about your data's quality, like this one, which shows the average hourly sales of a company. Part of configuring a metric is defining a threshold. And when metrics go outside of those thresholds, Big Eye creates in-app tickets called issues. For example, this morning, when the sales jumped way above the expected range, represented in light gray behind the line you see. In a different video, we will talk more about the different ways to implement thresholds or leverage Big Eye's machine learning based auto thresholds. Metrics can take two forms pipeline metrics, and quality metrics. Let's start with pipeline metrics. Pipeline metrics help data engineering teams ensure that their data is moving unhindered through pipelines, arriving on time and in appropriate or expected quantities. In Big Eye, we represent these with freshness and volume metrics. For some modern data sources like Snowflake, BigQuery, and Redshift, these are populated from table-level metadata shared in the information schema. For other data sources, like transactional systems, like Postgres as seen here, freshness and volume are measured with column-level monitors that calculate hours since latest value and row count. These are table stakes for us. We don't charge for them, and it's very easy to turn these on with a few clicks after connecting your data source or manage them with a few lines of code through our YAML-based big config. Let's turn our attention to the second kind of metric that can be monitored using Big Eye, which are column level data quality metrics. This video will focus on deploying metrics through the metric modal. To trigger that modal, I can click Add Metrics on the top right. Within the Metrics modal, I'll see various kinds of metrics that I can select to enact on my data. At the top, we have those pipeline reliability metrics of volume and freshness, which we already discussed. So let's turn our attention to the data quality buckets of metrics. These represent the most common types of metrics applied by analysts and data engineers. Let's start with data constraints, which looks to measure the uniqueness and completeness of values in your data. Additionally, completeness can be measured with percent null, percent nan, or percent empty string. Uniqueness we'll look at the count of duplicates and count of distinct values in a column. The most common numeric distribution metrics are average, min, and max. And finally, validity allows you to compare values in a column against an expected format. For example, what percent of values represent valid email addresses or social security numbers? It's worth noting that you can also create custom monitors to validate your data against other formats not listed here. If these five buckets didn't contain the data quality metrics you're looking for, you may find it here under all metrics, which shows a list of dozens of out of the box metrics that Big Eye supports. Other videos will cover the other ways of deploying metrics in Big Eye through custom monitors or via configuration code run through our command line interface. I hope this video has helped you understand the difference between pipeline and quality metrics.